Welcome back to Hockey Docs. In today's episode, we're focusing on the London Knights, a team that has become a breeding ground for top NHL talent. With numerous first-round draft picks since Rick Nash was drafted first overall in 2002, the Knights have a remarkable record of player development. The Knights have had at least one player selected in every NHL draft dating back to 1969. It's the longest streak among all Canadian Hockey League teams. The Knights have had 191 players selected in the NHL in their history, the most of any team in the world. Join us as we explore the secrets behind their success, including the vital contributions of Dale Hunter and Mark Hunter. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth hockey documentaries. The London Knights, a major junior ice hockey team in the Ontario Hockey League, boasts a rich history of success on and off the ice. They have consistently developed top-tier talent for the NHL, while also capturing multiple OHL championships and Memorial Cup appearances. Rick Green was the Ents' first ever first overall pick when the Washington Capitals took the defenseman first in the 1976 draft. Knights' Rob Ramage to Colorado in 1979, Rick Nash to Columbus in 2002, Patrick Kane to Chicago in 2007, and John Tavares to the New York Islanders in 2009 were also honored as first overall NHL picks. Ever since Nash was drafted first overall in 2002, the London Knights have produced an astonishing lineup of first-round NHL draft picks. Here's a rundown of some of these players and their draft positions. Corey Perry was selected 28th overall by the Anaheim Ducks in the 2003 NHL Draft. There's a lot of guys that uh, went on to have great careers and still are having great careers. And, uh, you know, we were pretty, pretty powerhouse, pretty good powerhouse in, in the OHL that year. And, uh, you know, we set a couple of records with win streaks and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, to be a part of that team, I think it, it's something that you'll never forget. And you'll never forget those guys on that team. Mark Mithot and Gerald Coleman were also taken that year. Rob Schremp was a first-rounder to the Edmonton Oilers in 2004. He was joined on the NHL draft stage by David Bolan, Brandon Prust, and Dylan Hunter that year. Danny Sivret, Josh Beaulieu, and Adam Dennis all heard their names called by NHL teams in 2005. And then Steve Mason was a third-rounder to the Columbus Blue Jackets in 2006. 2007 was another banner year at the draft for the Knights. Patrick Kane was the first overall pick of the Chicago Blackhawks followed by Sam Gagne, five picks later to the Oilers. Philip McRae was a second-round pick of the St. Louis Blues in 2008. In 2009, John Tavares was the first overall pick of the New York Islanders, followed by Nazem Kadri, who went seventh overall to the Toronto Maple Leafs. The appropriately named Jared Knight was a second-round pick in 2010, while Vladislav Nemesnikov and Scott Harrington were both selected in 2011. Ali Mata was a first-rounder in 2012 White Chris Tierney was a second-round pick among six Knights who were selected that year. 2013 was another big draft year for the Knights, with Bo Horvat, Max Domi, and Nikita Zadorov all selected in the first round and Remy Ali in the second. Christian Vorak was a second-round pick of the Arizona Coyotes in 2014, while Mitch Marner became the fourth overall pick of the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2015. 2016 was another huge draft year for the Knights with Ali Joelevi, Matthew Kachuk, and Max Jones all being selected in the first round. They had seven players selected in all that year. In 2017, Robert Thomas was taken in the first round, and Alex Formanton in the second. Evan Bouchard and Liam Foody were both first-rounders in 2018, and Connor McMichael was a first-rounder in 2019. Luke Evangelista was picked in the second round in 2020, and then in 2021, Logan Melu was taken in the first round, and Ben Roger in the second. A driving force behind the Knights' success has been the leadership of Dale and Mark Hunter. Dale, a former NHL player and coach, assumed the role of head coach in 2001. His brother Mark, also a former NHL player, joined as the general manager. Together, they've cultivated a winning atmosphere that grooms players for the NHL. The Hunter brothers' coaching philosophy centers around hard work, discipline, and attention to detail. Although Dale was known for his physical play during his NHL career, he has surprised many by preferring a lineup of skilled players over fighters. This approach has been instrumental in helping numerous prospects reach their full potential and thrive in the NHL. 
Uh, Mark did a good job, uh, you know, uh, drafting through the years, getting good players, and uh, we're a skilled team. We believe in skill, and uh, everybody thought when I was going to coach, we're going to have a rough and tumble team. But you know, we had some, you know, guys that uh, could take the body and hit. But like, we're a skilled team, and we believe in, uh, you know, skill and uh, in developing the skill part of the game. And and uh, it's probably some people that, and, uh, but uh, by watching them grow up and they're young, you know, it's like. I, I just go back to when I was playing. When I was 16, 17, you're young. You know, you're you, everything's new. Your eyes are bright, so you know you 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 know you got to teach them and teach and teach. And I had when through my career, I had good coaches that taught me and got me to the National Hockey League. And that's the idea for juniors to you know we all want to win and stuff, but it's also develop and put these kids where where I wanted to be. That's in the National Hockey League and uh, be as best as you can. The London Knights' accomplishments under the Hunter brothers' guidance have been nothing short of extraordinary. They've seized OHL championships in 2005, 2012, 2013, and 2016. They've made several Memorial Cup appearances, clinching the national championship in 2005 and 2016. The London Knights' exceptional track record of producing first-round NHL draft picks is a testament to the team's winning culture and the Hunter brothers' outstanding leadership. It's not easy to win. But you love the competition because it, uh, it gets your, your fires burning in your belly. And as a coach, you see it too, where, you know, where, you know, you, you go in, you, you just different personalities. There's different teams. Everybody's not the same. And, uh, and it's, it's fun to watch different kids. Uh, they come and they're very quiet. And, and then in, in two, three years' time, they're vocal in the dressing room. And it's like unique to watch them grow as a, as a just not as a player, as a, as, a, as a person where, you know, they get their confidence. With their unwavering dedication to excellence in player development, it's no surprise that the London Knights will continue to produce NHL stars for years to come. That wraps up this episode of Hockey Docs. What are your thoughts on the London Knights' incredible success in nurturing NHL talent? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful hockey documentaries. See you in the next episode.